something that we're not, you don't even know Jesus. We know Jesus. We're going to tell you what Jesus is like. The Bible says, the Bible says that the adulteress shall be put to death and the adulterer shall be put to death. Hey, the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says that the adulteress shall be put to death. The Bible says. Man, the title of my sermon tonight is The Person of the Holy Spirit. Now, of course, we know that God is made up of. No, God is not made up. For God have no beginning, nor end. Hebrews 7 3. Now, of course, we know that God is made up of. No, God is not made up. Let me start out by making a very important point here. And I've got a couple of uh, charts here to help illustrate this. God the Father is God, Jesus is God, the Holy Ghost is God, but they are not each other, right? God the Father is not Jesus, Jesus isn't the Holy Ghost. Really? Is the God of Israel not one? Is his word different from him? Or is his Holy Spirit different from him? Are they not one and the same? Did Jesus said a lie when Jesus said that there are three that bear? witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are not three, but one. 1 John 5 7. So, why am I bringing this up? Okay, the reason I'm bringing this up is that Jesus Christ was a man, right? He's the Son of Man. No, not right. Jesus is not Son of Man, for Jesus is not from Adam, but from himself. He came here not from Adam, but by virgin birth. Because the Jewish Pharisees used to call Jesus Son of Man, that does not mean that Jesus is Son of Man. So, why am I bringing this up? Okay, the reason I'm bringing this up is that Jesus Christ was a man, right? He's the Son of Man. No, Jesus is not a man, neither a Son of Man, which means Son of Adam. In fact, he was, in this, world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Just like, this false pastor, knows, him not. John 1, 1 So, Jesus had a soul, right? We got a soul of, of Jesus, right? And we've got a body of Jesus. Because, I mean, if, he, if he's a man, he should have this whole package. He wasn't just a body walking around with no spirit and no soul, right? We know he had a soul because it says his soul was not left in hell, right? And then his body didn't see corruption. And then we've got here the spirit of Jesus, okay? So as a human being, he possessed these three components, just like every other human being who's ever lived. But then we have someone else descending from heaven and lighting upon him. It wasn't like his own spirit jumped out of his body and then came down and came upon John 1 31 33 and because John the Baptist did not knew who Jesus is but he that sent him to baptize with water the same said to John the Baptist upon whom you shall see the spirit descending and remaining on him the same is he which baptizes with the Holy Spirit and so because of that John the Baptist knew not who Jesus is, but because he should be made manifest to Israel, and because of that, John was going there, baptizing with water. And it happened, John saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon Jesus. And so, this was a sign, only to John, that made John knows who Jesus is. John 1 31 33. It wasn't like his own spirit jumped out of his body and then came down and came upon. No, 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 because Jesus gave up the ghost on the cross, right? That's his spirit. This is the Holy Spirit. This false pastor is trying to say that the Holy Spirit is not the spirit of Jesus and that Jesus have another spirit, which is not the Holy Spirit. And that means that this false pastor is saying that the Bible is a lie. Because the Bible says, and because you are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts. The Spirit of His Son. And that is the Holy Spirit. Galatians 4, 6, 7. Now, let me answer this question that a lot of people have asked. Does the Holy Spirit have a body? Now, the answer to that if we're talking about a flesh and bone body, is obviously no. Really? 
does this false pastor, knows not, that, the Holy Spirit of truth, lives in born-again Christians like me? Does this false pastor, knows not, that, born-again Christians, are born, not of the flesh, but of the, Holy Spirit? Does this false pastor, knows not, that because, as many as received Jesus, to them Jesus gave the power to become sons of God, and because of that, God has sent forth, the Holy Spirit of His Son, into my heart, John 1, 12. Equals Galatians 4, 6, 7. Okay, God the Father, I don't believe that He has a physical flesh and bone body either. And that's because, this false pastor, knows not the Son, nor the Father. Just like, when He was, in this world, and the world was made by Him, and the world knew Him not. Just like then, today, two thousand years after, this false pastor, knows Him, not. John 1, 10, 12. God the Father and the Holy Ghost, they don't have physical bodies, not flesh and bone. Really? Does this false pastor knows, in who, was all, the fullness of the Godhead bodily? What is his, name? Is his name not, Jesus Christ? For, in him, was all, the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Colossians 2, 9, 15. Keep your finger there in John 14, go to John 20. John 20. Because he says, I'm going to give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. But then he turns around and says, I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. So a misunderstanding of this verse would be like, oh, well, when he says, I'm going to come to you, the Holy Spirit, that's Jesus coming to them because, you know, but remember the chart here. This is what we believe, right? It better be what we believe. <laughs> Jesus Christ is not the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost is not Jesus Christ. This false pastor is trying to say that the Holy Spirit is not the Spirit of Jesus, and that Jesus have another spirit, which is not the Holy Spirit. And that means that this false pastor is saying that the Bible is a lie. Because the Bible says, and because you are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts. The Spirit of His Son. And that is the Holy Spirit. Galatians 4, 6, 7. It says in verse 7, you know, the Comforter will not come unto you, but if I depart, I'll send him unto you. Okay. Why? Because he's a, a third person, that's why. Why? Because he's a, a third person, that's why, that's why, that's why. Again, this false pastor is trying to say that there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are not one, but three, three persons. And all of this, that this false pastor is trying to say, is not true, but a lie. 1 John 5, 7. Let's look at verse number 13. It says, How be it when he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he'll guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. All things that the Father hath are mine. Exactly. For he that have seen Jesus, have seen the Father. John 14, 9. Uh, there's God the Father, there's Jesus, there's the Holy Ghost, and that the Trinity, you know, is the explanation that is biblical, is biblical, is biblical. Really? Where? In the Bible? This false teacher must be confused, for his another gospel of three gods, must be in the book of Shakespeare. But there are people out there who deny these truths. And one of the scriptures that I've heard Oneness Pentecostals use or other Trinity deniers use is Ephesians chapter 4. And they come up with this ridiculous argument, there's only one spirit! And they just keep saying that over and over again. And it's just, it's just, it's sad how anyone could actually believe for one second that that's what one spirit means. And, you know, I hate to break it to these people, but there's this thing in the Bible called the seven spirits of God. I mean, did you get there yet? Because God has seven spirits. So, according to this false pastor, 
if the Holy Spirit is different person God, of three Trinity Gods, and there are six more different spirits of God, that means that, according to this false pastor, there, must be eight gods in heaven. There's one spirit. One spirit doesn't mean that God doesn't have seven spirits, because he does. Oh, there's three different spirits? I see those three spirits, and I'll raise you four. <laughs> and, you know, to sit there and say, there's only one spirit, one spirit, one spirit, there's seven! It's just madness. It's bizarre. Yes, it's madness. For this natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. 1 Corinthians 2.14 But that's okay. If this false pastor can go to Isaiah 11, he may can see, who the seven spirits are, for those seven spirits from, Revelation 5.6 are, in Isaiah 11. So, the Holy Spirit said to guide you into all truth. Well, one thing that Jesus Christ said, he said, my sheep hear my voice. Exactly. And the voice of Jesus said, he that have seen me, have seen the Father. Does this false pastor, can hear the voice of, Jesus Christ? No, not at all. It's the fact that a saved person hears what God says from his word, and they don't go off the cliff into just damnable heresy. Exactly. A born-again person will never preach three God's Trinity madness. Never. You know, I do believe that it's possible for people that are saved to goof up on their doctrine. Look, we've all goofed up on doctrine. This false pastor believes a lie. But I am not surprised, not surprised at all. For this false pastor hears not the voice of the Lord. And because of that, this false pastor knows not the Son nor the Father. If somebody rejects a portion of the Bible, they're not saved. Exactly. Just like this false pastor, rejected the word of the Lord, for the Lord said, He that have seen me, have seen the Father, John 14, 9. John chapter 16, verse 13 said, that he, the Spirit of truth, will guide you into all truth. Exactly. This false pastor, shall go back and ask Jesus Christ to baptize him with his Holy Spirit of truth, for what good is that for this false pastor, to read the Bible, and understand nothing, John 14 26.